Welcome students to another quick video. Today we're going to just look at what tourism is real quick. So here are our three objectives. We're going to look at some of the reasons why people travel. We're going to differentiate between a tourist and a visitor. And we're going to use LEPA's tourism system to differentiate between host country and supply country. Here are a few photographs or a few pictures of some reasons why people travel. Can you look at all and tell me what you think they are? Look at the first one here, this person with the book. What's the reason for that person traveling? Here we have another one of some people looking at the Bob Marley statue. We can see one here with a Caucasian lady, let's use that word, who is obviously in um, visiting an African tribe. Um, there are some other photos. Take a quick look at them and see if you can identify some of the reasons why these people travel. Here we have someone that's very famous in on social media. He speaks. He he travels to different areas of the world, and you know he looks at street food and he samples them, and you know talks about his experience. You can go ahead and follow the link to watch Mark's reasons for why he travels. Now we're going to start off by looking at what tourism is. What is tourism? Now you, have do you are doing this subject and of course for every subject that you touch you have to be able to tell what is the definition of that subject. How would you describe that subject? So we're going to look at three different definitions for tourism. Definition number one says that tourism comprises the activities of persons traveling to and staying in places outside their usual environment for not more than one consecutive year for leisure, business, and other purposes. Definition two says that tourism is a short-term movement of people from one area to another for pleasure or business. And definition three says that tourism is a movement of people from their normal place of residence to another place for a minimum period of 24 hours and less than a year for the sole purpose of leisure and pleasure. Now, I want you to look at all three definitions. I'm going to give you some time to look at it. And what are the three key things that you, can, you see um, in each definition? Look at definition one, two, and three. Tell me what are the key things that you see um, recurring in all the definitions and I'll give you some time to do so. Okay, so I hope you took the time out to look at the three definitions carefully and I hope you were able to observe some of the key factors or the key um, recurring points when you were looking at the definitions for tourism. So it spoke about the time or the duration. See if you can fill out this um, table real quick and tell me what's the duration. It does not exceed a particular time. It has to be a particular time frame for it to be considered tourism or for the person to be considered a tourist. In the definition, what were some of the reasons for travel? And you can also put some examples of reasons why people travel. What about the place or the location? In the definition, it speaks about the fact that persons travel outside of their regular environment right so go back look at the three definitions and see if you can fill that table out real quick let's move on okay so let us look very quickly on Lapers stores in module you may use your textbooks or other material to research on what the tourism model is now let's look carefully this section here is known as a traveler generating regions in some books or some other materials you use you may see the tourist generating region it's the same thing over here is the tourist destination region this section here the trr the transit route region and here we notice that okay let us start from here the traveler generating region is known as the source market. This is where travel begins. This is where people book their tickets or research on places that they want to, attempt to um, visit. This is where contact is made with the um, travel operators 
in the travel generating region. So this is also known as the source market. Now where are they traveling to? Let's follow the arrow. They are going towards the tourist destination region and the TDR is known as the host country. So the host country is what has the products and services or the different things that attract persons to that destination. What are some of the things in your country that attract people from the TGR? I can think of our rivers here in the Caribbean. I can think about our culture, our food. There are many things. The different events that happen here, our accommodation. There are so many things that attract people. Where are they coming to? The tourist destination region. And of course, once they come and enjoy the product here in the, in the um, host country, they return. See? It's a simple thing. And the transit route region is, is um, where the different routes taken or the ports that they stop on their way to the TGR or the TDR. All right? Please read up a little bit more on Lapa Stores in Model. Use your textbook and other resources. Next, we're moving on. Use whichever of your textbooks you have to write very quickly the, def the definition for tourist, excursionist, and a visitor. I'll give you a few minutes, or you could just pause this video and go ahead, use your material, Find the definition for the three and record them in your books quickly. Pause the video and go ahead. Well, now that you're back and you have read and recorded your, your answers, I want you to look at this activity and I want you to read each of them and tell whether or not it speaks to a tourist, a visitor, or an excursionist. Pause this video, read through each of them quickly, and write your answer. Good luck. I have some more work for you. Remember, you're all trying to do well on your exams, and not just your exams, your class tests. So I want you to go ahead, conduct your own research, use your textbook, or just use some good old brain power and see how best you can answer these eight questions. What are tourism products? Can you identify five tourism products that attracts visitors to the Caribbean? Are you able to use the LAPAS model and tell where the tourism products can be found? Now, can you also tell on which component of the LAPAS tourism system that the host country can be found? Next, can you use the, the um, LAPAS tourism system and find and identify where the source country is or the supply country is go back to the diagram and see if you can figure it out now based on which caribbean territory you territory you live in i want you to tell me three conditions in your country that entice people to visit there ask yourself what are some of the things in my country that's making um that attracts tourists here and write up about them I also want you to state two motivating factors in the TGR, the TGR, otherwise called the source country, that encourages people to visit the tourism destination region. And finally, I've listed a few terms or concepts, and I want you to tell whether or not they are considered push or pull factors. Market, marketing activities. Is this a push or a pull factor? Entertainment. Is it a push or a pull factor? Why are people wanting to travel? Think about the different factors, push or pull factors, and go ahead and write your, your answers. <laughs> 